So many of you have asked me earlier how to log any application within an iPhone. iPhone does not give you any native feature to log any of the application within an iPhone. For example, if in case you want to log your Instagram, then sorry, you don't have any feature. If in case you want to log Snapchat, then sorry, you don't have any feature within built in iPhone. So now today I'm going to tell you how we can log any application within an iPhone using its native features itself. So there is a tweak that we can do to log these applications. So just stay tuned and see all the steps that I'm going to follow. So as a first step, you need to go to a native application called Shortcuts. So it should be there in your utilities named as Shortcuts. So once you are within your Shortcuts application, the step two is to click automation. So automation is the second icon from below and you can see it, right? So once you have clicked automation, the third step is to create personal automation. After you click third step, that is personal automation, you will find a menu to create a new automation. Here, what we want to do is we, we want to open an application, right? So we need to scroll down and you will see a option called app click it there you will have three options when app choose the app and is opened or is closed so what we want is whenever we open any application we should be able to lock our screen that is my key, main, main feature right so first thing is i need to choose app which all apps i actually want to lock on my iphone so this is a step four where you would be choosing all the applications. Let's say I'm saying I want to lock Amazon. So I selected Amazon, I click done. So the next step is step five, you should check is open is click. Okay, next, click next. Okay, go to next option, which is here it is written as add action. So here, what we want to do is we will click add action. And here, what we'll do is we'll select timer here. Search for timer. So you will find a timer, start a timer option. Okay, you need to click start a timer. So once you click start a timer, here would be a default option that is 30 minutes. You need to change this time. Click one. And in minutes, you need to click seconds okay this is our next step once you have done this you need to click next my friend don't skip any part why i'm saying is because if in case you skip any part you won't be able to do it in a very better way okay so after doing this the next step is to deselect or disable this feature that is ask before running we need we don't want anyone to ask us to run this application okay after doing this, you just need to click done and that is all that you have to do. But wait, there is one more important option that you have to do. That is now you need to go to clock where we need to make certain changes to the timer. So we are in clock. Now, as you can see in the last corner, we have an option of timer. Select that. And in timer, you should be able to see one option called when timer ends. There you click and select stop playing from the last. Here is a long list and in the last, you will have an option called stop playing. Click stop playing, click set and go out from this menu. And now my friend, you are done. You want to see a demo? Right, then see this demo, I am opening a app and as you can see while opening this app this iphone gets logged automatically do you want to see it again let me show you again i'm opening amazon and it logged again so this is the feature my friend that i was telling you to use in your iphone as well if in case you like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel as i'm going to create a lot of content on iphone so stay tuned